Mario Cuevas, who once ruled the welterweight division against another former champ, Roberto Duran. However, Cuevas has not fought for 14 months in his last bout, lost a decision to Roger Stafford, and then suffered an injury to his left shoulder while training for a bout against Don Curry last August. Roberto Duran has struggled five times since losing the welterweight title in the infamous no mas, no mas bout with Sugar Ray Leonard. Duran has lost twice, and the three times he won, he won unimpressively. Pepino Cuevas, 25 years old out of Mexico City, Mexico, and Roberto Duran at 31 years of age from Panama. Duran's last fight, a unanimous 10-round decision over Jimmy Batten of England back in November. But you recall back in September, lost a 10-round decision to Kirkling Lang of England. Roberto Duran in the white with the black stripe, Pepino Cuevas in the red. Pepino, needless to say, with a greater reputation as a banger, he was once feared with his devastating left hook and put away many a fighter. But Roberto Duran, in the last few years, has not impressed anybody with his punching power because he cannot come up and wait and still retain that savage, animal-like grace and ferocity that he had as a lightweight. Good right hand by Duran. And Ferdy as a junior middleweight, Duran has looked slow and has not had power in throwing the punch. Pepino Cuevas hammering the body of Duran. His avowed plan was to go to the body. Duran instead said, I'll think about it and I'll see what he's going to do and I'm going to counter. The excitement of the crowd very high here, 16,000 people roaring with every punch. No doubt about it, these are still two big name fighters, but they're the shadow of what they used to be. This is round one. We are scheduled for 12. And at 5'9", Cuevas, an inch and a half taller than Durant, also has a six-inch reach advantage over Durant. Remember, that's natural weight on Pepino Cuevas. That's what he's used to fighting at, and that's where he had his heaviest punch at that weight. Cuevas weighted at 149. Duran at 152, one over the limit, but they waived it. Well, Duran looks a little dehydrated. He came in here. He's been bouncing around in the five minutes that Pepino Cuevas kept him waiting, and not a drop of sweat has developed. He has no fluid reserve. He is dehydrated. Down to 20 seconds left in this first round. Oh, right hand by Duran. Good right hand did not appear to even bother. Pepino Cuevas, who's had most of the first round his way, heavy body punching, landing good hooks. And we're final second. First round. This is round two from the sports arena, Los Angeles, California. Marv Albert with the fight doctor. Ferdy Pacheco, Roberto Duran, with his 79th professional bout, 74 and 4, 55 by knockout. Pepino Cuevas, 29 and 7 with 26 knockouts. Most of the losses took place early in his career. Just a couple of years back, Pepino, Mexico's most popular fighter. People thrilling to those thunderbolt left hooks. But for both Duran and Cuevas, it has not been any thunder. As of late. I think his fight with Tommy Hearns turned him around, proved immortal. They were considering him better than Jose Napoles in Mexico, and that's going some. They considered uh, Napoles a godlike figure there. But one shot from uh, the hitman, and it turned it around. It also might have turned his confidence around because Pepino never fought with the same vigor again. But I must say today, none of that is in evidence over the first round as they both looked fairly sharp. Pepino very sharp with the body punches. We approach the halfway mark. Second round. Cuevas lifting Duran off his feet. Neither fighter known to back up. 
sometimes happens when fighters get at the tail end of their career and they're equally shot. They meet and they have a great fight. It's too early to tell, but right off the bat, the first round was good. The second round is interesting. Left hand by Duran, a stinging blow, and a good combination by Duran. If Duran wins, he will go against Davey Moore for the WBA junior middleweight title. If Cuevas wins, he would fight the winner of Don Curry and Kirkland Lang. Interestingly enough, both fighters are getting away with an awful lot of low blows. The referee, Jim Sen Ken, who is an MD, a doctor, has not warned him. Powerful left hand landed by Duran. Duran putting that old fury in those punches. They don't seem to bother Pepino, but they're landing good. Of course, it is very early, but this, the best Duran has looked in many fights. I think the best he's looked is uh, Sugar Ray. He's lost all the old lethargy and the apathy of the old days. In the last four or five fights, he's looked very slow and sloppy. He certainly looks sharp and hard right now. So a good second round for Roberto Duran. <laughs> from the sports arena, Los Angeles, California, capacity crowd, better than 16,000, and they're here to see Pepito Cuevas in the red and Roberto Duran in the white. How'd you score the first two? Box office magic, and I have both uh, rounds. Uh, there, It's a standoff. One went to Pepino the first, one went to Duran the second, so they're even. But Duran looking the best he's looked in four or five fights. Since the no mas, no mas loss to Sugar Ray Leonard, that was back November the 25th, 1980 in New Orleans. It has not been the same for Roberto Duran. And for Peter Cuevas, not the same guy since the loss back in 80 to Thomas Hitman Hearns, who took him out to win the title in the second round. What I have to say right now, although I was against this fight and I was calling it thanks for the memory, right now in the third round, they both look like they used to look when they were sharp. Now, whether they can hold on to 12 rounds, I don't know. But the first two rounds have been sharp. Could it be that they have risen to the occasion because uh, Duran sees Cuevas in front of him, Cuevas sees Duran in front as opposed to going up against just someone else? I think so, and I think that they're equally at the stage of the career as far as talking about being shot and so forth. They're equally at the same stage. Oftentimes, fighters in an equal stage in, uh, of uh, deterioration put on sensational fights. This is certainly happening right now. Whether it uh, maintains the, the pace, we'll see. Isn't it incredible, though, that Cuevas, at 25 years of age, people talking about he might be shot. Well, he took an awful lot of pounding over those 25 years. Look at Duran go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pepino, who's got dynamite. Oh, left hand by Duran. Good combination by both. As we have one minute left. Third round, and Cuevas has sent reeling by Duran. Duran turns him around with a hook almost. But there's Pepino back, putting his head right. Oh, that's a butt. Putting his head right into Duran's face. Duran fighting back toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Here's Cuevas back. Cuevas is landing his best shots. A left hook flush, and it's not moving Duran. Good right hand by Duran. This reminds me of Arguello Pryor, where Arguello was constantly trapping Pryor into straight shots, and then nothing was happening. Arguello was getting very discouraged. Pepino looks mildly discouraged this round. And we approach 10 seconds left. Round three. It has been an action. Third round. And this is round four. Pepino Cuevas. In the red, Roberto Duran. In the white, Pepino Cuevas, son of a butcher. His dad took him to a gym at the age of 13. Five years later, his proud father saw his son proclaim the welterweight champion of the world. Roberto Duran, one time welterweight, one time lightweight champ. And many people include him in that list of great lightweights at the very top. He held it for a long time, and he held it with honor, and he fought hard. 
He's fallen on hard times in the last two years. But I must say, tonight's not one of his bad nights thus far. Again, Durant setting up for the combination. Pino looking very confused when those combinations land. Fighting nicely off the ropes. Oh, oh, right hand. Excellent right hand. And Durant has Cuevas in big trouble. Down he goes. was able to hold on to the ropes. Remember, the, doc the referee is a doctor. He's going to keep very close look at Pepino Cuevas. And you know, Manos de Piedra is a big finisher when he gets somebody in trouble. What a surprise. Duran looking to apply the finishing touches. Cuevas in big trouble. And at 25 left of this fourth round. And Cuevas just looking to hang on. Too much time for this round. Too much time. A minute to go and still fresh as a daisy. Here comes Duran. He can sense it. He can feel it. Good right hand. Uppercut by Duran. Again hurting Cuevas. Looking to back away. Duran looking very confident that he's about to conclude matters. Cuevas in total command. Referee looks like he wants to stop it. Cuevas taking a beating, it's all over! Roberto Duran stuffing Pepino Cuevas! What a shock! Here's a guy that couldn't punch, putting away the puncher! And he is through! That's it! And here comes the charge! Roberto Duran being bombed! And the security people looking to keep the hordes of fans away from the ring. Roberto Duran has stopped Pepito Cuevas in round four. Round four, Roberto Duran over Pepito Cuevas. Let's go to 30. Roberto. Did you train differently? ¿Te entrenaste diferente? Sí, yo me, yo me entrené diferente, pues yo sabía que todos los días me estaban chequeando y por eso yo comencé a usar la derecha y a moverme y creyendo que iba a correr. Entonces... Yes, yo, he, yes, he did train differently. They were watching, they were spying, so he did one thing, but he threw the right hand in the other. ¿Te sorprendió que lo noqueaste? La verdad que a mí no me iba a sorprender porque yo sabía que lo iba a noquear porque yo estaba bien preparado y bien cuidado y eso no me sorprendió a mí. Yo right. me estoy dando cuenta I que me cuando... surprised up for a knockout he said no because I was so well trained. Y ahora el campeonato? Eso es lo que quiero yo. Eso es lo que quiero Con yo. King. Como que venga. Okay, muchas gracias. Yes, the championship. He wants it now and he wants it next, but can he do it against a new and young champion? Let's go back to Marv Albert. All right, Ferdy, Roberto Duran with yet another twist in his career.